Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm showcasing the November card kit by Simon Says Stamp. First we are going to take a look on what's included and then I'm going to share 4 cards for inspiration. And let's start with the watercolor set that you get. There is a variety of colors, 21 of them, and you will also get two little um, sponge tip brushes which are great for your details. You will also get a pack of watercolor cards, there are 12 of them in lovely designs, all of them are winter themed and I guess they would probably work as um, Christmas cards as well. All you have to do is just color them and stick them on a pre-folded card and you have 12 cards ready to go. I'm going to show you however how you can take them a step further with one of the examples that I'm sharing today. And here is a die that I absolutely love and it's called Ho Ho Dear. I think that if you don't want to grab the whole kit, maybe it's worth it to grab only this one. Now for the nose you can use the pom-poms in red color to turn him into Rudolph. You will also get a masking tape by uh, Gina K Designs. And let's take a look at the papers. These are 6x6 papers by Moda Scrub. This is a lovely company and don't, I don't know if you ever checked them out, but they have beautiful pattern papers. Uh, these are not double sided so you don't have to fight on which side to use. It's a lovely color combination and um, this is called Forever Green and you will find that linked down below separately as well. Most of the products you can get them separately if you don't want to grab the whole kit. And now let's take a look at the stamp set. It's a large one, 6x8, it's called Woodland Whimsy with 4 critters, trees to create lovely scenes. There are also many leaves and flowers that you can embellish your cards. And take a look at this banner which is absolutely lovely. Some of the sentiments fit inside but there are other sentiments that you can use separately. And now let's take a look at the colors of the cardstock. And if you don't want to grab the whole card kit, I would definitely recommend to check out the stamp set as well as the little reindeer die. Now today I'm going to share four ideas on how you can use different categories of products that are included in the kit. So I will work with the watercolor card, I will work with the die, I'm going to share an idea on how you can use the pattern paper and also I'm going to make a card using the stamps. Now of course you can use the watercolor set and start coloring all the watercolor cards that are included in the kit and end up with 12 different cards. I'm going to show you now how you can take it a step further. So I'm going to use my uh, watercolors here and I'm going to add a little bit of uh, color on the bear. This image is really quick and simple to color since you don't need to add a lot. So I mixed up red with white to create a very faint uh, pink and uh, I'm also going to mix uh, light blue with grey to create the shadows for my bear. The bear is going to mainly be white, I'm just going to add a little touch only at the edges. And I also used red for the scarf. Very simple coloring and now I'm going to show you how you can take this a step further. I'm using my scissors to cut out around the bear so that I can pop her on my card. Now of course you can leave a white border just like I'm doing here but then I changed my mind and I'm going to cut out exactly where the lines are. Now I want this to be a winter card and that's why I grabbed an older stamp set and I'm going to use this uh, winter hello stamp as my sentiment but of course you can use any sentiment from the stamp set that is included. I'm working on navy cardstock and I'm going to stamp with uh, embossing ink the sentiment then I'm going to apply white embossing powder and I'm going to use my heat gun to melt everything. Now since this is a winter card I wanted to create snow for my background and there are many ways to add snow for example you can do white splashes, you can add little dots with your white gel pen, you can also stamp with white ink or, just like I'm doing here, you can use a stencil if you have one. I use some purple tape to cover up the sentiment and then I'm going to apply embossing paste. The stencil that I'm using is by Tonic and I'm going to link it down below but there are so many uh, available stencils of snow in the market. I'm using a silicone spatula by Tonic as well which I find is really fun to work with. Now I'm going to remove the stencil so you can see the background. After everything is dry, I'm removing the purple tape to reveal the sentiment again and I'm going to stick my bear on top. I have foam tape at the back to add some dimension. 
After all, that's the reason why I cut it out. And I'm going to stick this panel on top of a standard card that's 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half. And here are some close-up photos on the first card. Using embossing paste for the snow gives it a fluffy texture which is great in real life. Now let's move on to the second card and I will be using the die this time. I have a white panel and I'm going to cut it out. I couldn't help it with this die and I had to turn this card into a shaker card. So at the back I'm using some double sided tape and I'm going to stick uh, a piece of acetate. I left enough space below that window, so you, this is where you are supposed to stamp your sentiment, use any Christmas sentiment that you like. I decided to combine this uh, die cut, so I cut out the word Merry from Glitter Cardstock, which I'm going to stick down there. And I'm also going to stamp later on the word Christmas to complete my sentiment. So I'm using my Nouveau Deluxe at the back, and this is a die by Simon's Stamp, you will find it linked down below. I absolutely love the combination of uh, gold and uh, white and craft with a touch of red when it comes to Christmas cards. I think this creates a really elegant card in a clean and simple look. For the inside of my window I am going to use this gold confetti by Tonic and now I'm going to peel off the backing and stick it on top. Now I'm going to work on the nose of my reindeer, I'm going to put back the white little piece so that I make sure it's not going to show any hole if I stick on top uh, the pom-pom. And of course you can um, use uh, some glitter cardstock for that. The pom-pom is quite dimensional and it would make it quite difficult to put inside the card, so I'm going to cut it in half. This way I create a dome. It's still textured and fluffy, but it's not as dimensional, so it fits nicely inside the card. This is where I remember that I haven't stamped the word Christmas, and uh, I'm using my Misty for doing that. Remember to stamp the sentiment before you put your card together. You can color the little eyes black and stick them back in. Instead of fighting with little pieces, I'm just using black Nouveau Drops. And my card is ready. For the next card I'm going to use pattern paper and uh, there is one pattern paper that gives you all these four different panels that you can use to create cards. For today I will be working with the Seasons Greetings one and I'm playing with my rectangle dies here and decide which one fits better. I'm going to pick two of those and cut out a frame using the craft cardstock that's included in the kit. This is going to go on top and it's going to give more definition on my focal point later on. Now I'm going to combine this with another pattern paper, so I'm going to cut it out to be four and a quarter by five and a half, which is going to cover up completely a standard card. Notice that the color of the frame matches the color of the antlers. I'm going to stick that on top of my pattern paper with foam squares at the back and also the tree trunks has the same color as that craft cardstock so somehow everything comes together. Now I'm going to finish it off by adding a few gems just to add some sparkle on a Christmas card. So I have some green ones that match perfectly the color of my background and uh, I have a ton of them from a set by Pinkfresh Studios which I'm going to link down below. I find that I always grab this one since it always has so many different colors that match pretty much any project. And here is a card using only paper from the kit. And for the last card for today, I'm going to use the stamps. First of all, I'm going to stamp a few of those tree trunks. I need to have uh, enough so that I can build up a scene later on. I'm stamping that with uh, alcohol-friendly ink so that I can color with my alcohol markers. Now I'm going to show you how I color those trees. So I'm working with my Altenew alcohol markers in three shades of uh, brown. I'm going to color brown the right side of each tree trunk and I am swiping a little bit of color towards the uh, center part of uh, the tree trunk making sure that I don't cover it up completely. I need to have white areas all around. And then I switched to a darker shade of brown and did the exact same thing to add more definition on the edge. 
and I am planning to use my scissors to cut out those tree trunks, which means that I don't have to stay inside the lines. However, it seems that I am doing so, I guess because uh, I am used to it. I also stamped the deer, which is going to be the focal point of my card. And as you can see, I had some trouble coloring my deer, just because Ginger decided that he wanted some attention. So he is going to say hello to you. And let's move on coloring the deer. For that again I used my Altenew alcohol markers in three shades and you can see which colors I used on your screen right now. And then I used my scissors to cut it out. I cut out the trees without a white border and that's exactly what I'm doing with the deer. If you want to make your life easier, leave a white border all around. Now I did cut out only one of the ears just because uh, I didn't bother with the other one, it was too flimsy and I'm going to cover up completely that part with one of the tree trunks so it's not a problem for me. Now I'm going to create a background and for that I'm going for an ombre effect from blue all the way to white for that I'm using Distress Oxide ink and now it's finally time to put my card together so I'm going to create a little scene I have a couple of snow banks that I have cut out of white cardstock I'm going to place them at the bottom of my card base and for the second one I have foam squares at the back so that I can create a little bit of dimension and then I'm going to use my scissors to cut off the excess and I'm going to play with the trees and try to decide where everything is going to go. Some of them are going at the background and some at the front to create the dilution of dimension. Now of course I haven't stuck down anything yet, I'm just playing around, trying to decide where everything is going to go and then I'm going to commit and stick everything down. For some of the tree trunks I'm going to use foam squares at the back and for others I'm just going to stick them directly at the background with glue. This is definitely not a simple card to make, it takes some time with coloring and cutting out all the pieces, but it's such an adorable card and I think it's perfect for someone special. And remember since I cut out the ear of my deer, I have to strategically place it so that it doesn't show. It's a lovely winter card and I decided to stamp the word hello from the stamp set and again I'm using the same blue ink so that it matches nicely with my background and it is quite subtle. I created my card base out of uh, craft cardstock from the kit that's four and a quarter by five and a half and it creates a lovely border. To finish off my card I'm going to add some snow, of course there are many different techniques to do that. I decided for this card to use these clear gems to add some sparkle at the background. These gems are by Studio Katia, you will find this link down below along with everything else that I am using. So here is a close up look on the last cards for today, with all the dimension. And these were the cards that I created while playing with my November card kit by Simon Says Stamp. I hope you had fun, that you got inspired, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already and also leave me a comment down below and let me know which one of the four cards was your favorite. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I'll see you all next time.